We're now going to talk about the resisted infraspinatus test, also called the resisted external rotation test. In reality, this is just an external rotation manual muscle test for the shoulder. And notice it's a part of two test item clusters, one for subacromial impingement syndrome and another for full thickness rotator cuff tear. If we look at the psychometrics, the specificity isn't great, it's 0.74, but the sensitivity as a standalone test is 0.90 or 90%. Given this higher sensitivity, this means that we can use this test as a screening tool to rule out one of these two shoulder pathologies. So if we do a resisted infraspinatus test and the result is negative, that means that there's a 90% chance that they do not have these two conditions, subacromial impingement syndrome or a full thickness rotator cuff tear. Now the way you perform this test is identical to how you do the manual muscle test because it is a manual muscle test. You can have the patient in standing or seated. I'd prefer to have them in seated like you see right here. The patient's gonna begin with their shoulder in neutral, meaning arm and elbow by the side. The elbow is gonna be bent to 90 degrees like this and their thumb is going to be face up and what I'm gonna do as the practitioner is I'm gonna apply a force on their forearm, trying to push their forearm inwards, and they're gonna resist by trying to attempt to move the shoulder into external rotation. So here I am applying that inward force, and he's gonna resist that by using his shoulder external rotators. A positive test here is gonna be reproduction of the patient's familiar shoulder pain, and we'll probably also see weakness on that side compared to the unaffected side. Now obviously this would be a negative test because one, there was no weakness, and also there was no pain reported with this force. One more thing, when you're doing this test, make sure that the patient's arm and elbow stays against their side. Sometimes if there's weakness or extreme pain, they may compensate by allowing their forearm to come in, but then their arm flares out. 